Wow, look at this marbling on this porterhouse steak. If you're not familiar with a porterhouse steak, this side right here is what you would commonly hear called a New York strip. And this is the filet side. So you actually get the best of both worlds when it comes to steak with a porterhouse. You can't ask for much more than that. Today, what we're gonna season it with, you've seen me use on Six Brothers Beef before. It goes great on steak, so we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna use the Young Buck Steak Seasoning, and we're gonna put a heavy coat on it. So let's go ahead and get that seasoned up. And this is gonna help with our textures and our crust when we go to sear this bad boy up. Got the Weber kettle getting fired up. We're using some hickory wood and a small amount of cherry. My son actually is the one that got me hooked on cherry, and surprisingly, it's awesome on beef. So just lightly press that in, make sure that we get that seasoning to adhere to the surfaces of our steak. That's what it's looking like on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set for about five minutes and flip it over and get the other side seasoned up as well. And next time I see y'all, we'll be at the Weber. It doesn't get much better than this in Texas. We got 90 degree weather, awesome sunny day, and we got cherry and hickory wood rolling out of the Weber kettle. Let's go ahead and get this steak onto the kettle. That Young Buck steak seasoning sweat in nicely. Let's go ahead and put the New York strip side towards the heat. Right there. And we're gonna go ahead and shut the kettle down and we'll check on this in 15 minutes. All right, it's time to flip this steak over. Man, the color change is awesome. It means it's really soaking up that smoke. Look at that texture from that Young Bucks. Let's go ahead and flip it over and keep our New York strip side towards the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that Young Bucks and touch this side up and then we'll keep on cooking. All right guys, it's been 10 minutes later and we're reading right around 120 degrees on this steak on both sides. So it's time to sear this up and y'all have seen me do it before. We're gonna get right to it with this torch. Just like that, that side looks awesome. Let's go ahead and flip this other side over now. And repeat the searing process. Look at that color from the smoke and the sear on the torch. I'm gonna top it with a little bit more steak seasoning and then we're gonna take it off and let it rest on the cutting board and then we'll cut into it and give it a taste. And this is the moment of truth. Uh, the steak's been resting under the foil here for about 10 minutes on the cutting board. I haven't seen it since we covered it up. Let's take a peek at it and see what it looks like. That is looking awesome. And before we pulled it off the Weber, I said that we were gonna take it off the Weber and set it inside and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. It is very, very important that after you grill something or low and slow smoke something, that you let that meat rest to let that juice redistribute. It's just like when we go for a jog or workout as a human being, you need to drink some water and kind of relax to rehydrate all that sweat that you had. Um, but let's go ahead and cut into this. Remember this side is the New York strip and this side's the filet. Man, I love a porterhouse steak. Let's go ahead and start on the New York strip side. 
right down the bone there. Wow, smells awesome. I love that Young Bucks. And the filet side, it's gonna be extra tender. Man, that looks great. Let me go ahead and resituate the camera and we'll cut into these two pieces of steak and give them a taste. Man, this looks like a perfect cook. That is one of the benefits of searing with the torch towards the end. You can truly get that perfect internal temperature and then just sear the outsides to finish it off for that nice crust. I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna go ahead and give the New York strip a taste first. Awesome cook, real juicy. Dang, that looks awesome. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Dang, that steak is awesome, that Young Bucks really complements beef well and that USDA prime beef is awesome. Let's go ahead and give this filet side a try. Remember it's extra tender so it should just fall apart in our mouth here. It looks real tender and juicy. Let's check it out. Mm. That was so tender. You can definitely tell that's USDA prime beef and it's dry aged. Don't forget guys, check out all the information for Six Brothers Beef Company down below in the description box. And remember, you can order something online and it'll get delivered to your door and that just doesn't get any better than that. All right guys, until next time, I'll see y'all around the grill.